there. Thanks for joining me on this tutorial. I'm going to go over how to make text template. I have created one right now and in my situation I'll have to go through and change each template for a new name. So this is how I would do that. So first load all your video footage where you're going to start editing. I suppose you could do this after you have your whole project completed, but I like to just go along and do it in real time, let's say, so you don't forget anybody. So I've already created this template here. How I did that was you go up to title you go to new title and then you have all these different options so based on template is where we'll go after we've already created it mine is already in there but for right now we're just gonna say default still it'll ask you these questions and it'll say you know what size do you want and here is my default name so if you want to be able to easily go back and find your title I highly suggest you change each name even if it was the guy in the purple tie. So in my case I want some text. I go to the text icon. I you know drag that where I would want to put my text. Type in you know the name. Might look tiny like that. So this is the window you'll work in. Over here is all your title properties. Your controls of your text. Here's your font size. So even if you take it up to 60, you can see that's a lot larger. This arrow, you can drag it and just, you know, drag your text to where you want it. Your normal options, center, all that kind of stuff, and here's some easy to get to drop down menus if you want to play around with your different text. Okay, so let's say that's done, and once because I named it, it's in my project. If it's not in your main bin or where you're looking at just you know kind of look through and then you'll find it if it's not where you were already at here's the title I created just now for a little sample but here is the one I created earlier just ahead of time so let's say I've created this title now and yes this is exactly what I want to happen time after time after time now you think you just go in okay here's my auction title David Smith I got David Smith here um, and here's Jeff Smith we we'll just double click on this title as in Premiere, that's with everything. If you double click on any of the titles, it's going to pop up here. And then you're also going to gain effect control to each clip. So if I click to clicked on a different clip, over here my effect controls, which I love using, will be up for that particular clip. Back on my title, which I'm feeling like oh, I'm going to be able to change this to Jeff Smith. And then keep my other one. But as you can see, that is not what happens. I actually learned it the hard way, just working along. And then I went back and noticed that one day. Anywho. Control Z to 
get David back. Undo. Delete that clip. Okay, so here I am. I'm double clicked on auction title. I see here title, auction title. Make sure you're working with the right thing. I mean, I could be double clicked on title 02, name bar, because I renamed it, and affecting that. So make sure you're really cautious on looking at this over here. So here I am with my auction title activated. Go to title. Now you'll go to new title. And you could say based on current title if you would want to do it that way. And then I could say Jeff Schmidt. I'm going to go back and delete the other one so I don't get confused. And now I have Jeff Smith. I double click on that. Jeff Smith. He's down here. Oops. So now I have his name. And I've kept David Smith. Okay, we can take this a step further. Another way to do that is to create a template. And here I am on David Smith. I'm on the auction title, I know that. I go to title. I can go to templates, control J is the shortcut. Now over here is your little information button. And you have your different options. Import current, title is template. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Now you can name it. Auction title, perfect. Auction, I'm going to say name. All right, so I'll be rolling along, and I'll find another person. I'll say new title based on template. I will find his name or the person. Here it is, auction name, title, David Smith. I should have renamed it. Oh, see, I jumped the gun, but you can highlight over that or you can right click in PC land and say rename and call it um, Ken Smith. So if you do forget to name your title right from the beginning just do it after and it should hold most of the properties that went with it. But ideally, you just want to name it right after you select your title. Just pop in your name. And I always like to number it. So if it was Ken Smith, number one, I want to make sure I have a Ken Smith number two. So that should be about it to get you started on some titles and save you some time. Thanks for watching.